People who are adept at providing emotional value often have greater underlying needs. For instance, when you're in the early stages of a romantic relationship and someone offers you an intense experience of love, providing exceptionally high emotional value, it might seem like you've found the one who loves you the most in the world. They are always there for you, attentive to every detail, making you feel like you've met your true soulmate. However, it's essential to be cautious because all the sacrificial efforts may ultimately be reclaimed in some form. We need to understand why someone expresses sweet words and provides emotional value in a relationship. Is it really because they love you deeply? While this possibility cannot be ruled out, for some individuals, it might be a means of suppressing their own needs and emotions to fulfill their desires through your satisfaction. Every word they speak is essentially aimed at serving this purpose. This is why you may observe that some people become overly nice when things are going well but turn extremely difficult once their needs and feelings are not met the way they want. Psychologically, these individuals may not have developed a mature personality. Their cognitive development may be stuck in a fragmented state where they can only see and accept one side of things. For instance, they may only accept joy and positive emotions, not allowing themselves to feel anger or negative emotions. They are only open to having their needs satisfied and idealize a state where they are loved, not accepting rejection or negativity. Being with such a person can be good when things are positive, and the emotional intensity can be high. However, if you fail to meet their needs or love them in the way they desire, they might either leave you or retaliate harshly, which is part of their emotional mechanism. Analyzing their upbringing, the root cause lies in their relationship with their mother during their formative years. If a child couldn't receive unconditional love from their mother, they may learn to constantly please her to secure the love or basic survival conditions they need. This learned behavior persists into adulthood, where they continue to seek what they want through pleasing others. Fundamentally, their actions don't stem from genuine love and expression of affection, but from the habit of using survival mechanisms. They didn't complete the integration process in their early years and remain in a vertically split state. Their perception of the world is one-dimensional. They believe that by being good to you and constantly pleasing you, their needs will be satisfied, and they can live a better life. If you fail to do so, they may project an entirely negative image onto you and harbor resentment. This is why some people can switch from loving you passionately to being furious in an instant over seemingly trivial matters. Their cognitive level is stuck in an early stage of division, preventing them from achieving self-integration. They view relationships in black and white, either entirely good or entirely bad. If you find yourself caught in their unpredictable emotions, you might even question if you've done something wrong, leading to self-doubt and internal conflict. In reality, their emotions have nothing to do with you. It's their internal mental patterns causing these reactions. It's crucial to remember that when choosing a partner, don't be infatuated with sweet words and emotional value. As the saying goes, a charming appearance may bring bitterness to the heart. Do you understand?